So uh, here I have the uh, the part of uh, the altar, and uh, those are different parts like beams, columns, uh, meshes, uh, profiles, and so on and so forth. So different methods. Uh, some of uh, people might think, oh, but it's not right. It should be modeled in different way. Yes, but we test a couple of methods, and this was actually the most like beams, um, beams, columns, and profiles. Those are your best friends. And in, in this case, uh, what happened is um, it all depends, again, on the purpose of what you are doing. In that case, uh, you can always change a classification and make it, uh, for example, uh, you know, like a building element. So it doesn't have to be uh, the beam, for example. And then in IFC, it's going to uh, be as it should be. But in Archicad, this is a specific tool that is very useful. Uh, in those um, in those type of modelings, but about modeling, uh, that's another story. And the uh, information is what I wanted to share with you. So let's say here we have. Uh, you remember I showed the uh, slide where there was, uh, for example, uh, a lot of uh, information like here uh, about the element itself. Yeah, what what is it exactly? Uh, it's all classification like done uh, preliminary uh, before. So we have our templates to specific type of projects. One are for synagogues, others are for churches, other uh, are for administrative uh, buildings. So they are like closed databases because they are very vast databases when it comes to heritage. And for example, architectural style, this can be written down uh, in other projects it can be choose from. So it all depends on how much information is inside of your project already. It's like with project info. The thing that you do at first, you have to uh, input the semantics at first in your project and you're good to go. It's it's perfect. That's why we love Archicad in this uh, regards that it's very fluent when it comes to databases. So uh, here I have this uh, this kind of uh, model done. And uh, of course, I would normally do something like uh, maybe a screenshot or a 3D document, and that would be like some kind of, you know, uh, saved uh, information. But we can do things better. So uh, because architects and art historians, we are mostly visual people, like we, we like to see things. So uh, we create uh, based on the classifications that we have, which probably all you know, that are great for QA and QC uh, processes, but we also use that for HBIM. So in that case, we have, uh, this is an example, we have, uh, like I created a very uh, simple uh, case uh, where I have original elements, new items repaired, uh, items that needs repair and no classification. So no information about the heritage whatsoever. So, uh, of course, if we go into management rule, this is very simple rule. So I took a classification and uh, in other cases, just different bits of the uh, properties that I created. So when I click OK. It's what I want, yeah, so with art historian, we sit, we decided through uh, BCF or through whatever, because uh, we are lucky that uh, this guy that we worked with was open minded and he wanted to uh, work with IFC. So we explained and this is also a tip for you. Never be worried to explain someone things uh, because they might uh, work in very nice way that you would like them to work and it will benefit both parties. So in this case, uh, we have this kind of classification uh, and uh, I can then create a 3D document, for example, like this. And uh, based on that, of course, uh, the lovely label tools where I click on the element. Sorry. Uh, here. Give it a second. I click on the element, of course, and then I can decide I would like to have uh, classification uh, property and I will choose the property like authenticity and I will know that okay this one is a newly designed item of course what I would do I would uh, normally uh, go into options and save it as favorites because uh, it's it's very useful to have your own favorites in that case and then you can move them in between uh, your designs 
and uh, and then of course uh, going for other sorry going for other so it can be quickly done and and you can get the most like just for the drawing purpose yeah or you can do a legend whatever it it can be very uh, sophisticated drawing in that manner